featherweight bout here. Yana Santos coming in at plus 152 against Carol Rosa. Coming in at minus 152. Over under two and a half rounds. Minus 289 for the over. Plus 289 for the under. Yana Santos coming in off the loss to Holly Holm, which was back in March. And she got, it wasn't her best performance. Let's just say that. And uh, Carol Rosa coming off the decision loss to Norma Dumont not too long ago, back in April. So both fighters uh, fought pretty recently, and both fighters coming off a loss. Uh, women's MMA here, you're getting uh, not too big of a dog in Yana Santos, seeing any value in that one. Not really. I mean, this is just a fight that I'm, it's just hard to, to find anything worth playing in this one. Uh, Carol Hosa in her last fight against uh, Dumont just didn't really do anything like the fight was kind of boring it was somewhat close a unanimous decision for dumont but um before that you know beats lena landsberg majority decision loses to sarah mcmahon who you know just takes down girls and grinds them out the only thing for yana santos is like if you can find some takedowns maybe you'll have success on the ground and just holding her down there but on the feet it's just i feel like rosa is going to be a little bit better here i also believe that uh um Yana Santos, after losing uh, to who she lose to before Holly Holm, Aldana, Aldana, um, you know, got knocked out by her. Then I believe what had a baby after that took two years off, yeah. and then comes back and told and just looked like she didn't have it in her anymore. So that makes me nervous there a little bit. If you were to take her, I do think Carol Rosa probably gets the fight done. Um, I just think you're in for kind of a boring style fight i don't see much happening it's hard to it's hard to lay the chalk on a, on a fighter in this fight and it's hard to pick an underdog and be anywhere confident in her either so yeah um give me carol rosa to win this fight but definitely not going to bet on it yeah i don't i can't really get behind a, a yana santos here i mean the only way i see her winning like she's pretty aggressive on the feet which you know could work for her if she doesn't get taken down and if she doesn't get clipped uh, Carol Rosa, not normally one to like go for the takedown. She did go for the takedown. Uh, she got three against Lena Landsberg and four against Jocelyn Edwards, but you could pretty much take those girls down like at will. So <laughs> it's not really saying too much. Uh, the fight against Norma Dumont was just a bunch of like cage control and uh, yeah, just boring fights. Like this is probably gonna be a super boring fight. Yeah. Uh, it might be one you just want to take off and probably don't want to get too invested in. But for the sake of the show, I'm gonna go with Carol Rosa. I think she's just better, uh, better output on the feet, and she can go for the get the takedowns and uh, do some work on top. So I'll take her. Um, but yeah, just probably probably one to just not get into.